Step into any boutique and you're faced with choices. Choices and more choices. Hi, Hi. Stacy. Oh, what a song. We are gonna make over what I like to call a fashion victim. Someone who's in dire need of some real fashion help. So you guys have already chatted. Yes, this You've is my victim. You've some things out. Yes. I'm gonna leave you guys to it. <laughs> All right, yeah. See, I got my work cut out for me uh, with this one. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. It's the right thank girlfriend. So let me just, uh, since I'm meeting you for the first time, I just kind of want to make sure that what I had up here is now working with me here, because you're here. It's just, it doesn't work. And, yeah. All right, so we talked on the phone, and some of the things that we discussed were that you are not familiar with mixing and matching. Right, not a whole lot. This is, this is pretty much it. I understand you're a busy mom yeah. and you have a lot going on in your life, but you cannot forget about you. So I kind of figure out what their comfort zone is because my job is to take them out of that comfort zone. So this way they're no longer a fashion victim and they become a fashionista. And what we've just given you is a simple little topper that kind of complements this look. It brings in some color up top, which eyes go up. All we need is some color on those lips and around those eyes and a little hair and a ponytail. But you have a little outfit that you can go out in. All we need to do is change that bag. We're done. But we have a whole rack here full of some scary fabulous gloves. things. <laughs> <laughs> they're not scary. Okay. Let's just say that they're fabulous. But they are scary because you don't know what I pulled for you that's hanging on this rack that's going to work for your figure. But everything's going to work for your lifestyle, flatter your figure, and make you feel special. Fabulous. Okay, so let's dive in. Stacy has survived Felix's hard lessons of fashion love. Now it's time to face the music and the mirror.